Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. We continue our series of videos on tasks in our app. And today we want to talk about database tasks view, providing many opportunities to work with existing tasks and create new ones. Let's take a closer look at this tool and how to use it. There are two ways to open the database tasks view. Open the main menu and go to Window, Database Tasks. Click on the button with three boxes on the main toolbar. If you have already created tasks, you will see them in the table form. By default, this table displays the task name, time, and result of its last run, type of task, and project name. The next run column displays the scheduled start time of the task. We'll talk about the scheduler in the last part of our series. In some cases, it is helpful to customize the displayed columns. For example, you may want to show the execution time of a particular task. To do this, you need to right-click on any area of the list and go to Configure Columns. Check the appropriate boxes and click OK. To run a task, select it and click on the Run button. You will see the execution logs for this particular task in the right field. If an error occurs while running, you will see its description in the result column. If you have run several tasks, of which some might have failed due to errors, you can use the log search bar to navigate them better. Just start a typing error text in this field and the search will be done automatically. When there are a lot of tasks on your list, it becomes necessary to organize them. The best way to do this is to use grouping. You can group your tasks by project, category, and type. Use the corresponding toggles in the top toolbar of the database tasks view for this. Note that all three types of grouping can be applied at the same time. Please draw your attention to the search bar at the top of the view. Using it, you can quickly find tasks by their name. The second way to organize your tasks is to use folders and a sub. To create a new one, click on the folder button with a folder and a plus sign. Specify a name and from the drop down list, select the project to which the new folder will belong. Now you can drag and drop your tasks to the folder you have added. And when creating the next new task, you will simply select the appropriate folder. If you use projects, keep in mind that each task belongs to a specific project. If you wish, you can use projects to further organize your tasks. The context menu of the database tasks view repeats the options available to you in the toolbar. If you no longer need a task, select it and click the delete button on the right side of the toolbar. Now you know how to work with single tasks using the database tasks view. But what if you need to execute several tasks in a row? With dBeaver, you can not only run them one by one, but you can also create and use the composite tasks. We will cover that feature in our following video. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.